I'd want to be the window washer in that household. No, no. But he, lo old. he loves aviation, though. You see a lot of things in the water, you know, in, in the Tampa Bay area, not to mention on land, like that plane. But we've got something for you tonight that maybe you have never seen before. It's part boat, part airplane, part bike. Sound odd? Fox 13's Charlie Belcher is going to tell you about it tonight and says it's a Pinellas County man's invention that's been 15 years in the making. And voila. Think of Russell Randall as Dr. Frankenstein, and this is his monster. He's taken body parts from other machines and created a brand new one. He calls it a Crosstrek. The best description is a bicycle-powered airboat. That's right, an airplane-style propeller, a catamaran-type hull, and a bicycle, minus the tires. The faster you pedal, the faster the propeller turns, and, well, off you go. I hope to uh, make them and sell them and run jet skis uh, out of the... Uh, out of, out of business. Russell's been working on this design for 15 years. He wanted to come up with a better canoe or kayak, but without a motor. That's the rudder and it is, let me show you, the, it's retractable. It goes down in the water. He's a machinist who's worked for aerospace related companies in the past. He's always been a bit of an inventor, but this has been his biggest project. The cross track will go forward, backward, and with a slight adjustment, sideways for parallel parking. You can imagine he gets quite the stairs and double takes. It's quite the uh, unique invention. It seems like your legs would get tired, though. I really took a liking to it because I like bicycling and uh, I like the water, so it, it looks like it'd be a lot of fun. Other bike enthusiasts can't help but stop and wonder. It looks appealing. You get off the road, get on the water. Certainly. Russell says it's great for fishing. You can sneak right up on the fish. It's absolutely silent. It is, I, I absolutely defend it is the best fishing boat in the world. It'll even hold two people, so one person can get the bait. On a windy day, you can give your legs a break, since it comes complete with a sail. If it's windy, you can have fun. If it's not windy, you can have fun. He's been all over the place with it. Rivers, lakes, as many as three miles out in the Gulf. Probably put 2,000 miles on this one already. He even takes it camping. Say you're camping and there's bugs and you want to put your tent up quick. He says it's easy to pedal. You use as much energy as a brisk walk. Okay, sure, it's easy for him to do it, but what's it really like to control this thing? I gotta tell you, it's just like riding a bike. It takes him about two weeks to make one, but he's working on setting up a way to mass produce them, for a price, of course. A uh, hard chill version like this, uh, we're looking at, with, depending on options, about 4,000, uh, 3,500 for the inflatable version. It may look like the Frankenstein monster of watercrafts, but this mad scientist says it's environmentally friendly, safe, and a lot of fun. Charlie Belcher, Fox 13 News. For more information on the Cross Trek, you may call Russell Randall at 727-937-5808. And happy peddling. He may be onto something because everybody here watched very closely. It's very clever. Everybody's looking for some new invention to right. make something out of, and there he has done something. Looks like fun. We'll be back in a moment.